Welcome to STAR OMOP Tutorials. My name is Priya Desai and I'm the Research and Development Manager for Biomedical Informatics here at Research ID at Stanford Medicine. This is part four of tutorial one. So you may ask the question, why do we need a CDM or a common data model? Well, no single observational database captures all clinical events equally well. Research results from many disparate data sources often have to be compared and contrasted. We often need to analyze multiple data sources concurrently. Data needs to be harmonized, and all of this is really hard with, lo with a location-specific data model. A common data model, or CDM, basically standardizes the format and content of observational data so common software applications and tools can be applied across datasets from multiple healthcare organizations. With the use of data mining using electronic uh, health records growing so rapidly, and with the use of um, artificial intelligence and machine learning in all aspects of healthcare like diagnosis, disease forecasting, etc., becoming so ubiquitous, Incorporating a common data model um, was really important so that Stanford could continue to be a pioneer in biomedical informatics. As we explored which common data model to adopt, it was important for us to adhere to the FAIR principles for scientific data management. The FAIR data principles are a set of guiding principles in order to make data findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. What that really means is that we need to make sure that the data provenance is well understood and well documented. And the data is uniquely identifiable, the metadata is indexed in a searchable resource, and the access is available using standard communication protocols. We decided to go with the OMOP common data model, which is maintained by the ODC consortium. OMOP stands for Observational Medical Outcomes Partnership, and ODC is an acronym for Observational Health Data Sciences and Informatics. Um, ODC is an open source, um, open science community that maintains OMOP and they're headquartered at Columbia University. Um, ODC is an open consortium consisting of multiple stakeholders that is striving to build out, to, sorry, that is striving to bring out the value of observational health data through large scale analytics. OMOP or the Observational Medical Outcomes Partnership is a strange name for a data model. And how it got stuck with that name is actually a, is quite an interesting story. I, I really urge you to look that up. The history of OMOP is, is quite interesting. So what is the OMOP CDM? The OMOP Common Data Model basically allows for the systematic analysis of disparate observational databases. The concept behind this approach is to transform the data contained in those databases into a common format, uh, which is a common mod data model, as well as a common representation. The goal is for different data sets to have the same structure. So imagine one SQL query for five different data sets instead of five separate SQL queries for the five different data sets. Data harmonization refers to all efforts to combine data from these different sources and provide users with a comparable view of data from different studies. The OMOP common data model is founded on three core ideas. A standardized data schema, so all the databases look similar. Standardized vocabulary, so they all are speaking the same language. Um, terminology uh, definitions mean the same thing. And standardized analysis methods. So here is actually an example of four real observational databases. Um, one is the Truven Market Scan Commercial Claims and Encounters database, the Optum Extended Cease database, the Premier database, and the JMDC uh, database. They all contain an inpatient admission for a patient with a diagnosis of acute subendocardial infraction. But as you can see, not a single table name is the same. Not a single variable name is the same. They all have different table structures, different ICD-9 conventions, different coding schemes. And imagine if you had to compare the data in these databases versus 
if all of them had been converted into a standardized structure where they all have the same tables, the same fields, the same data types, the same conventions, this consistent structure really allows for you know, um, a high degree of um, large scale analysis. In the next video, we'll actually go over why we chose the Odyssey OMAP common data model and what its salient features are. Thank you. See you next time. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.